Hi. My name is Annie, and I struggle to speak. Hi. My name is Annie, and I struggle to speak. I'm afraid to repeat myself. Worth has been taken from me. My self-worth has been taken from me, so now palm my way into poetry. Thankfully, a blank space for me, a no-judgment zone so as flow for my soul to be whole, finally, no boundaries to inhibit my personality, no delicate rules of etiquette to define whether I'm sane or crazy, no peer-pressuring eyes silhouetted in shadows of my mind that stigmatise, and we call this Freedom of speech, but you see, freedom of expression has now become freedom of oppression. It has birthed bullies, alchemists and mold words into bullets by belittling and bitching sessions, and it hurts when in lessons we are taught that our voices have no hearts, that they are lifeless beings we cremate into ashes of insignificance, only holding weight when we use the arguments of respected names that have money, power, and a claim to fame. Freedom of oppression is like a hurricane. It destroys other people's lives by creating ghettos of silence where tongues are involuntarily tied, by buds that fly from the taste of being denied a touch of feeling demonized. So now our speech is becoming dumb because we're all being desensitized. But I remember when speech was meant to be a symphony of synonyms that synchronize our sides, it was meant to flow streams of silver that are meant to slip, that are meant to slide lovingly off of tongues to emancipate one another. What has happened? Because all I hear are verbal assassinations making us mute and making us stutter. We use words thick with hate to subjugate, we splutter victims into pursed lips that fear wits from tongues dipped into sick fallacies. So don't tell me that freedom is part of our vocabulary. When we send tweets that leech on to each other's inadequacies and post comments massacring confidence into quiet insecurities. When I'm smart and you're dumb, I'm big and you're little, I'm right and you're wrong, and yet there's nothing as a society we are doing about it. But the times that I'm now living in is one in which freedom is being used in prison, so we need to let go of our egos that arrogantly believe that being anonymous justifies hating on another human being, and we need to recognize that accents don't define. Your language may be different, but your speech is not better than mine, and we need to break systematic structures that build barriers in the way we write, the way we rhyme, the way we think and articulate our lives. They say our speech is free. So maybe that's why our talk has become so cheap. So hi, my name is Annie. And that's why I struggle to speak.